Hello, it's been a while, but welcome to this video that is me trying to bake banana bread. Um, I don't think I have tried baking banana bread before, so um, this will definitely be a first. Also, before I start the video, I just want to say that the angles on this video is very weird because I don't have a standing counter, like my kitchen is really small and um, it's just very hard to film inside here so I'm in the dining room and the table is quite low and the lighting here is not the best so I hope you guys understand also there is a lot of noise going, <laughs> going on in the background because there's a construction there and there's the laundry being done there so yeah I'm sorry for that let's just see how it goes yeah Oh my gosh, it got so dark suddenly. Um, it feels so weird doing this with the... It's my camera's my bird here with this. This is why I dislike filming here. Because when I'm on the light, I look so bad. I mean, because it's harsh lighting, so... But yeah, I can definitely foresee this place being a mess in like a few minutes time. Alright. So we're gonna start off with two cups of flour. I don't really like sitting down while baking. It just feels so weird. Because I'm more inclined to like doing this two cups. I'm using plain flour, all purpose flour, unbleached. Uh, but you can use whatever flour you want actually. that's that then we have one teaspoon of baking powder and I didn't even bring a teaspoon all right I'll just put everything closer so that it's easier for me to read so it won't get spread out and disorganized oh baking powder half teaspoon of salt um but my family loves salty stuff, so I'm gonna just put a little bit more for them, you know what I mean? Alright, then we got half cup of butter soften. So this, I don't really know how you measure it in cups because it's just a straight up block. So... What am I supposed to do? How do I... How do I measure this in cup? Okay, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put this in Hoping that, you know It does what my brain is trying to do Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's good. Half cup. And then... Oh my gosh! I wrote the instructions next to it and I forgot to do it. You're not supposed to put the... Oh my gosh, I messed up. You're supposed to cream the butter and the sugar together. it up you know hopefully it doesn't become a scone or anything <laughs> yikes um this is why you should never just you should never just let me be you know the recipe calls for two eggs but unfortunately um i do not have any eggs in the house at the moment so i know of the substitution of flex eggs which is basically one egg equals to one teaspoon of flax seeds and 
three teaspoons of um, water. So since it calls for two, I just double it. Um, so I have it here, but I yet to let it rest. So we're just gonna let it rest for a side, and yeah, I'm just gonna you know look at my mistake. sugar so I'm trying to kind of use up like this sugar that my dad bought which is like low GI sugar and so I'm just gonna be like doing the same thing as the butter basically like putting this in the in the measuring cup and then see whether it's one cup and it's dump it in you know because it's already a mess so there's nothing we can do what it's not even half the half cup. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take way more packets because it's literally yeah. only one quarter a cup. See, this is how much we got. What? This is why I really want to finish it. the healthier lifestyle you know how many packets of that was in the half cup one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ah. wow and then i think our eggs have our eggs is Kind of the texture is kind of like yolky, I guess. So that's good. So we're just gonna dump it in. Right. Whiskey. I still do not know how like people understand baking like. How did someone even invent baking? How do they know that flour and sugar and butter gives you like a cookie? How? It still just makes me think so hard every day. Okay, now we get to the bananas. So they say three mashed bananas. Oh, I didn't even bring a fork to mash it. All right, so this is the banana we have because every time I buy a nicely ripe bananas and it become even like ripen. Yeah. I don't know why. Every time I buy like a whole ass bunch of bananas, it's gone. Before I can even use it to bake. Yeah, I feel like it's a sign. It's like my family telling me not to bake, you know. They're just trying to tell me it's better, you know, safer for them to so finally today is the day that I have a banana with me. I mean it's not um, like the perfect one for banana cake, you know those brown spotting ones but we still do with that. We don't discriminate, you know. Okay, that was hard. Oh, I'll break it so it's easier to mash I guess. Oh, you put it in. Eh, it's alright. Anyway, I feel like this is already a mess, so I'm just going in. Alright, 
right and I think now we're left with half cup milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract but again me being me we do not have vanilla extract in the house but we do have vanilla powder so I'm just gonna use that because I feel like it's almost the same you know you know Now that I'm stirring it, I'm realizing that I do not have a bread loaf pan. This is definitely way too big for a banana bread. Um, so I'll just see what I can use. Okay, I think we have done it and we have done I've definitely done it wrong so but I think this is it honestly because I don't think there's anything else so they say put this in a loaf tray and bake it for 175 degrees Celsius at 50 to 60 minutes I didn't even know that banana bread needs to take that long Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit just so that any possible hope or magic can happen to this. I don't even know what I'm saying, I'm just panicking at this point. Like, I already did everything wrong, so. <sighs> I didn't even preheat the oven, oh my gosh. All right, so let me show you how um, I preheat the oven. Okay, so first thing first, you don't preheat. First things first, you take out whatever's inside because one time I forgot to do that and I it just smelled like metal burning and also I burned my hand while digging them out so yeah so you take out everything that's inside and you check if there's anything hidden inside nope all right then we gotta Put it on the top and bottom head. Oh, you can't even see. Oops. I'm really a bad YouTuber. Okay, put it here. And we put it at 175. So around here. Then we click this button. So, as you can see, it's a very old. It's not even old. It's like how many years? Eight years and it's like, oh my gosh. You can literally see my foot. Yeah, I might have to censor that. Okay, so yeah. Um, I remember when it had light. And now it's like broken. Everything is broken and everything is spoiled in this house. So everything is also missing apparently. So how you know it, if it's have reached this temperature is when this is off. So yeah. So as you can see, um, I have cleaned my table and um, so I couldn't find a loaf tray I mean we had cake trays but again they are solidly all missing so I'm just gonna use this random tray that I found I am not sure if it can withstand like long period of time with heat but we just have to see so we've got our reusable um, baking sheet and we're just gonna pour the the mess into it that is so underwhelming not gonna lie I got you literally thought it would be way more, I guess. Um, just gonna spread it out, you know, hoping for the best. I feel like I'm reliving my exams again. Just looking at the paper, hoping for the best, even though you know your answer is like definitely wrong. And then we'll just put it in the oven. Yeah. 
Okay, how do I even grab it? I guess. But it looks quite soft, which is good, I think. This thing. <laughs> Bye. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It doesn't look so. Mm. <laughs> Is it actually good? <laughs> Are you sure? Good morning. 